support for Ukraine could go beyond arms supplies, France's top general. Russia should not expect the West to limit its support for Ukraine to arms supplies. General Thierry Burkhard, chief of the general staff of the French armed forces, said this according to AFP. The war will end when Russia stops attacking, Burkhard told reporters after talks in Paris with General Mikhail Bowden, the commander of the armed forces of new NATO member Sweden. Kremlin leader Vladimir Putin has built his operation on the idea that the West will never go into Ukraine but will simply supply weapons. Burkhard said, we have to show him that he cannot use this logic to go all the way because this idea is not correct, he added. The war in Ukraine concerns us because we are involved in its aftermath. Therefore, Europeans must be able to take risks to ensure the security of Europe in the next decade, the general said. Despite the controversy surrounding his remarks about the possible deployment of Western troops to Ukraine, French President Emmanuel Macron refused to back down, insisting that his statements were well thought out, but also stressing that France would not follow the logic of escalation in its relations with Moscow. Subsequently, commenting on the idea he raised, Macron stressed that if such a scenario were to be implemented, French forces would not launch an offensive against Russia. The president's intention is to let Vladimir Putin know that we are aware of what is at stake in Ukraine, Burkhardt said. French President Emmanuel Macron has also said France would be ready to make sure that Russia never wins that war. Earlier this month, Macron said there are no limits to French support for Ukraine. Deputy Chairman of Russia's Security Council Dmitry Medvedev reacted to his remarks, saying that Moscow has no more red lines left for France. France is considering sending troops to border with Belarus. French President Emmanuel Macron is serious about sending troops to Ukraine and is considering several options for using them there. As Zakalo media outlet writes, this was stated by Verkovna Rada Deputy Oleksiy Honcharenko, who is taking part in a meeting of the PACE Committee European Solidarity in Paris. According to Honcharenko, the French president is very determined to send a foreign military contingent to Ukraine. The number of soldiers in it has not yet been finally determined. France is also working to create a coalition of allies that will likely include Poland and the Baltic states. Now they are looking for more allies. As for the presence of foreign military personnel in Ukraine, as noted earlier, there is no talk of their participation in military operations, Honcharenko emphasized. President Macron, according to the People's Deputy, is considering several options for using the contingent. The first is the training and education of Ukrainian military personnel at a joint base. Currently, two main points in western Ukraine are being considered where it could be located. The second is not to create a separate place to accommodate the contingent, but to have groups of French military personnel where they are needed. And the third, plans are underway to send a mission to the regions of Ukraine bordering Belarus in order to free up the Ukrainian military from this direction to strengthen the eastern and southern directions. Once again, these are not words, not political statements. The military of the General Staff of France, a number of other countries and, of course, Ukraine, are working and discussing what this might look like, Honcharenko said. French President Macron announced a statement about the possible dispatch of ground troops to Ukraine at the end of February at an international conference in Paris. This caused a great stir.